goes green. Cycle complete. So a single player adventure version 3 is a Halo Combat Evolved mod for the Master Chief Collection on PC. This mod was originally created years ago and released in 2016 for Halo Custom Edition. Now with MCC compatibility, textures are uncompressed so you can enjoy all the little and large details with frantic gameplay. Stand on the red square please. <gasps> you didn't shave today and you're in the Navy. Go shave yourself. Check out the news bulletin. For the major changes to this mod, you will find extensions to levels throughout the campaign. You will also find weapons that have been added like this battle rifle. And many weapons will have secondary functions like the assault rifle with a grenade launcher attached. All weapons we have seen in Halo Combat Evolved, to include ones imported from other Halo games, have had their model altered, distinguishing this mod from others visually. The extension of the levels are interesting too, such as in the Pillar of Autumn, you'll need to activate turrets to repel a Covenant spirit. This is the energy cutlass. Wielded by jackals, you can pick it up and throw it into a group for it to explode or slice foes in the head. You all know I'm a big fan of skyboxes. You can see soy included mountains out in the distance to give some geographical depth to the halo ring to include some happy little clouds. Very nice. Men moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in a crash. We've got some blind wolves out here too. Covenant dropship inbound. Roger, Echo 419. This is Fly Team Charlie. We beat you 5 by 5. That you, 4 Hammer? Roger, Fire Team Charlie. Good to hear from you. Detaching the turret will allow you to pick it up and run around looking like the ultimate war machine. You've got some ODSTs in this extension of the level too. Come on, Chief, this way. Not to mention you also have an elephant. This sniper rifle also acts as a target designator so you could bring the rain. The Warthog is instead the six-wheeled Aardvark from a Halo game that was never released. While it's been discussed the Aardvark has the same traits as the Warthog, to me it feels like the Aardvark has a sharper turning radius with a slight increase of torque. It would make sense the Aardvark would find more traction than the Warthog given the amount of surface area being contacted by all six tires. In any case, it's not a drastic change. It is fun to drive. This mod also has rare dialogue play more frequently. I don't recall ever hearing it prior. If men really praised each other, I'd say good job, but you know how it is. There is equipment that you can pick up in this mod, like this bubble shield here. It behaves just like it does in Halo 3.
Watch out for the included anti-air wraiths. Truth and Reconciliation has a colder color palette. A lot of cool colors involved here. Now when it comes to the sniper rifle that also acts as a laser target designator in specific locations of this modded campaign, it's modeled after the target designator in the awesome Halo Landfall video years ago. I really like the lighting and truth and reconciliation for this mod. I think it looks really cool. No sign of them. Now I wasn't paying attention that much to the brig, the holding cell specifically where Captain Keys normally is. And so I turned around and this is what I saw. Chief? You're gonna see a lot of wild things in this mod. The Drenal is no exception. You'll see a lot of cut content and altered content in this mod too. You will face against brutes with their own arsenal to include all of the other Covenant species in the original Halo Combat Evolved. This Needler, for example, has needles protruding from the top and bottom, so no matter how you smack your opponents, they will get a face full of needles. An aspect I really have to give credit to is when wielding imported and modified weapons. The animation, from reloading to cycling to firing, it all looks so professionally done. As if the weapon truly was made for the game. I don't see any hands clipping through the weapons. Oftentimes with mods, imported weapons don't fit exactly to the hand model, so hands clipping through the weapon is common. Yet it's nowhere to be seen in this mod. The Power Drainer is also available. The Brute Spiker in this mod is amazing. Even the spikes have detailed grooves in them when you look closely. When you see the spikes impaled into a Covenant foe, this makes for a brutal visual. You will come across grunt suicide squads too. In the midst of all the melee, I have to take a few moments to admire the detailed sand texture. Nice.
This is a locust from Halo Wars that you can fight in the Silent Cartographer. As for the modifications to the rocket launcher, it will fire one rocket at a time, but has a secondary function where holding down the trigger will rotate the barrel continuously, and releasing the trigger will fire the rocket at an increased velocity. You can see some blood on the brute shot blade. Man, this thing looks devastating. using the energy sword in the Halo Combat Evolved engine. How does it behave? Well, you can do some slicing and dicing with it up close, but since there is no lunge feature, how would you engage targets at a distance? The secondary function of the energy sword allows you to charge up energy at the tip of the sword in this mod, and then fling that energy bolt to your target. You can use the Gauss against the Wraith, or you can board it. As long as you take out the driver and the gunner, you can then drive the Wraith. Check out these alternate blood decals. Pretty neat. This is the Rhino, the tank from Halo Wars. The main cannon feels beefy. Here you can operate a Spectre. Operating it is very simple. The fact that it hovers is no need for concern. The controls don't feel too floaty. Here I'm appreciating the model of the Covenant Carbine. The firing and the reload animations look great. As for the sandbox, it's nice to play Halo Combat Evolved with more precision-based weapons. It's a whole different experience when you're using and going against others with precision weapons. The plasma rifle has a fin at the front. In a practical sense, this is used as a bayonet, though I didn't notice the plasma rifle causing more damage upon melee. The Mauler looks and sounds awesome in this mod, and the Brutes look as if they fit within the Halo Combat Evolved art style. <laughs> Here is a version of the Hornet. Its rockets can track very effectively, and the machine guns can tear into personnel and aircraft, just in case.
This place looks new. This is the extension to the assault on the control room level. Look for the controls. Help me out, Cortana. This is a new level. Can I step here? Looks like I can. Okay, seems solid. Alright, cool. In 343 Guilty Spark, the yellow glow of the Alpha Moon basis is pretty creepy, a little nod to the horror film addicts. Additionally, the modified foliage makes this level feel like there is a little bit more concealment. The modified lighting of the interior with the shadows is very ominous as well. to manage the flood, only for a short time. Say hello to the true juggernaut. Just run from this thing. Using the sentinel beam, you can see how the floating pieces are slightly delayed when moving with your momentum. That's a cool little detail. Here you can see the Banshee is outfitted for space combat and has headlamps seen in Halo Wars. I always wanted to pilot a Banshee with its headlamps on. It looks so cool in this low-lit evening snowfall environment. You can also board a ghost in this mod. And there is a boost feature as well. Check it out, the Spartan laser has made its way into this mod. This needle launcher has needles protruding from the top of the firearm. Once fired, it can stick into your target and explode with an abundance of dispersed needles. Any Doom fans out there? Well, once that door opens, you will make your way to the extended part of the Maw for this mod. Holy crapazoid trapezoid, here we go. By the way, I found out after this gameplay that the brute weapons have a very powerful melee against the flood. The maw in this mod has an aardvark run instead of a warthog run, and if you complete it on legendary, you get an altered ending that is far from retail.
I really enjoyed this mod. It brings a different take to the entire game of Halo. A challenging sandbox, and it has some interesting boss fights, cool lighting changes as well, an all around fun experience for Halo fans to check out. Go ahead and download the link in the description and check out my other videos.